Join us today as we show you a few hints and tips that help keep your equipment running smoothly. Over the years of RVing, I've heard a few people complain about their RV sofas and how sometimes they're cracking and, you know, kind of wearing out and they think, we're being careful, why are they wearing out? There is something that we do that we feel helps expand, extend the longevity of our fabric on our sofas. Because remember, these things sit in front of the windows often and in certain times of day, the sun can come in and beat down on the top of this. UV rays are very damaging to the fabric and they will break down the material over time. So something that we use, and we use this on the outside of our RV as well, is 303 protectant. It protects from UV rays. Um, it's uh, We found that it's been a really good product and we believe that that has helped keep the top of our uh, chairs here uh, from cracking and you know wearing out faster. Now, 303 is simple. You just spray it on. You don't need a lot. And you rub it in. You have to get it totally dry because this is not something that will dry and evaporate on its own. It is something that you have to dry off. And the it says on the packaging, it's kind of cool, really. It says the more that you buff it, the more it helps bond it into the fabric or onto the surface here you're putting it into and actually makes it more effective. So rub away and don't put a lot on. Now, when I do this, I only am treating the tops of the fabric because the sun doesn't get down to the bottom on mine, uh, from what I've seen anyways, but it always lands on this top cushion. Be careful as well if you have, you know, tiny children who suck on furniture or uh, pets that might lick your furniture. This can be toxic, so you might not want to use it in that case. One of the reasons for tires to get old and fail is simply UV rays crack in the sidewalls. So we use the 303 sealant on that as well. Anything to make the tires last longer. I even put 303 on the 30 amp cord. I don't want it to fall apart either. I've always believed in oil spraying the underside and inside the door panels and body panels of every vehicle I've ever had. Keeps the rust down to a minimum. It doesn't matter if there's salt on the roads. It really helps a ton. And that, what does that cost us? 100 bucks a year, 150 bucks every year that I have somebody do it. But a few years ago, I discovered I can buy the oil from the same people that I was paying to do the job. Now, I just climb under there. Sure, it's a little bit messy, but I think it saves about 70% of the cost of uh, having somebody doing it as compared to having us doing it ourselves. The vehicle's already pre-drilled. Just come along and spray inside the holes for every... Oh, you get that. And you get all the little spots inside every single panel. So, there's no way to stop rust completely, but... With the regular oil spray, it minimizes it and it does a great job. And as little bits of rust are noticeable over the years in the underbody, be it on the truck or on the RV, we wire wheel that stuff away and put a coat of paint over it. It doesn't stop the rust by any means, but it sure slows it down drastically. Every once in a while, we pull out the uh, drill and the wire wheel and we take off some of that uh, rust and we put a little bit of paint on so that we keep our equipment long-lasting and uh, a little more durable for the years because we don't want to have to replace it. That, that's expensive. So a little bit of preventative maintenance goes a long way. You know, it wasn't long after we bought the RV, this one in the back right, this stabilizer used to stick. It was hard to turn. I would wire brush it and I oiled it probably four or five, six times. It would be good every time I would do that and be smooth for a week or two, three weeks, but it would always get sticky again. And then finally I came across Liquid Wrench's anti-corrosion and lubricant. This product here has made a huge difference. I've used it twice. Last time I used it I think was in the fall. Now here we are, we're in July, and this thing is still nice and smooth. I love the effect that this has had. Another problem solved. It's been about a week now, I guess, and we've heard that dreaded sound where the pump comes on, the water pump I should say, every few minutes, so you know, oh no there's a little bit of a water leak somewhere. But luckily, it's outside. I was outside walking by and I noticed that our low point drain on the hot water side is dripping. Thank goodness, because that's easy to fix. A couple pairs of pliers, grab that, turn it back to tight, and it'll be solved in no time. 
I think every time we winterize, which we don't do that often because we live full time, but we still do it on occasion some years. I don't put Teflon tape on that, but I should. And next time the winter comes, which is only a few months away now, it's July already, I'm going to remember that. Put Teflon tape on there and that'll be a little bit less chance that it's going to drip next year. You sure are rushing the season. It's July already? It's still June. You're right. I shouldn't rush the season. No, summer's only <laughs> beginning. Sometimes little things and the right products can make a big difference in helping maintain your equipment. I hope some of our tips and tricks today helped you. And until next time, we look forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.